Is, is data the key? Is data the thing that links everything together? Uh, <laughs> so the promise of data has been with us for a few years, and I think that the, the trouble with data, a lot of companies set off and they thought about data as a technology problem to solve. And we spent several years looking at big data and building the amazing systems. But actually, the real key to data, and I think is data is really important, is actually how you drive worth from the data. So it's not an exercise in collecting loads of data and being able to process it quickly. It's actually how do we deliver a customer experience or how do we deliver an increase in revenue that is driven by an understanding from data. So it's the usage of data rather than the, just the exercise of it. And I think that that's where many companies have got a little bit lost. So I think that um, in a previous company, the, the data scientist there used to say you can drive a lot of really good value from actually really rubbish systems and, and Excel. I mean, you can use Excel and, and drive quite a lot of understanding around a subset of data. And so I think that actually having the capability to do that translation is really important. And is that part of the challenge, that, you know, to, to make the most out of the systems you already have and extract the data out of those systems? Is, is, is that what you approach first? Or do you look outside? So I think, I think understanding um, what you have and having people who can, and can spot the opportunity, uh, and then they can translate that into if there's other data sets that it would make sense for you to have and complement the data that you already have or in your product to build in capabilities to get the first party data that you need. And also to understand with GDPR coming in next year, to understand the importance of the relationship with the customer, which you know the big tech companies have done brilliantly. The relationship with the customer and being able to collect the right data. But also I think more and more companies are going to think about the ethics of collecting the data and what they do with the data, and I think that's going to become a much more important issue in the future. And is that something that comes up a lot? I mean, being a media organisation, you know, data is, uh, is, is not just you know, the backbone of what you do. It's actually, you know, in part, the product you produce. How's that, uh, you know, how does that debate sort of take place in, organisa in an organisation like News UK? So um, it, it obviously does take place, and I think that there's, um, there's a l definitely with uh, editorial and the independence of editorial teams, you have to be very careful in terms of the commercial part of the organization and the editorial part of the organization. And uh, obviously, customer data is, is not always anonymized for any use um, outside uh, the company. And I think that uh, one of the things that we need to think about is why we're collecting data and the purpose of collecting it, and not just collecting it for the sake of collecting it. And I think that when you look at the amount of information some companies have about us, I think that will be brought into question. So, you know, what is the point of them collecting all that information so that they can track your every move? And I do think that that's where GDPR and e-privacy, data privacy, has it, it's come from that feeling of actually, do we want people to know everything about us? And, and is it right that they should know that? 